Hey everyone and welcome to another tying session. This time we're going to tie the black head. Uh, a few of you guys have asked me to do a little tutorial about that fly so here we go. It's a fly that I use for usually fishing uh, deep water. It has um, a fast enough sink rate due to the fibers used. For the back and the tail section I use Canicalon here, this orange one here. Um, the shanks are about 12 inches long, about 30 centimeter long. So to start off I get um, a nice generous little clump and uh, I like to leave a little tag end at the back, about 8 to 10 centimeters, uh, around 3 inches. You can leave, that gives you a little bit uh, of support for the, for the material, less fouling and you create a little bit more volume that way. Now when you fold over, make sure you give it a good squeeze with your thumb and fingers just to spread a little bit more the fibers around the shank of the hook. Now repeat the exact same process but underneath the hook. As you can see I'm doing the second tie slightly just, just in front of the first one. For the body, I use one length of canicalon hair, but this time I fold it in half. I'm going to tie one on top and at the same time I'm going to tie another layer at the bottom. For the head now, um, we're going to use uh, Congo hair, black Congo hair. So for this, um, I'm using um, a length of Congo hair and one length of Canicalon hair, and I'm cutting each one of them in half, and I'm going to try to blend them together. So this is going to give you a nice transition between the orange and the black at the front. For the second part of the head, I'm using pure uh, black Congo hair now. I cut the one length in two and uh, same thing, just make sure that you spread all these fibers all around the shank nice and evenly so you get a better result at the end. This is the last uh, part of the head building. So for this, same thing, one length of Congo hair and this time I'm cutting it in three equal parts. Now all you need to do is brush up, brush all the fibers, make sure everything is untangled and that will give you a good even spread all around the fly. It will be better for sticking on your eyes and trimming the excess fibers. For the eyes, um, I really like using these teddy bear eyes, you find them on eBay. 
uh, they are really dirt cheap you, you get uh, you buy them by hundreds if you want uh, they come in big size 10 mils I think these are 10 mils you have 8 mils you have different sizes available all you have to do is uh, just cut off that little black tag end uh, and stick them onto your your streamers it'll give a little bit of weight at the front uh, enough for the streamer to sink without putting dumbbells To stick the eyes, I really like using hot glue. Um, hot glue penetrates deep into the fibers and uh, it gives you a really good hold and it has a little bit more weight to the, to the front of the fly. To finish off the fly, I like just to trim off a little bit the head and uh, if you have some excess fibers uh, on the tail you can always give it a little trim at the end. And thanks again for joining me for another tying session. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to put them in the comment section below and i catch you for the next one. Bye!